I don't know whether a rainbow is a good omen or a bad omen for fossil hunting. Possibly bad because it probably means it's peeing it down somewhere. But uh, I'll take it for what it is. It's a bit bright and toasty this morning, so uh, welcome to another episode of Fossiliferous out on the beach. So I'm going to go down see if we can find some uh, Jurassic fossils on the Yorkshire coast, uh, middle of summer holidays. So you never know, could be a bit dry out there. Uh, I don't think we've had any big seas or weather. But there's always something to find, so uh, if anything else, it's going to be a nice walk out in the lovely sunshine. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what we can find. Sunglasses on. And it really is a spectacular day today, it really is. Yeah, the water is crystal clear. You can see all the way down to the bottom, quite far out as well. Very, very flat, calm sea today. A little bit of moisture in the air. <laughs> that should be good. Now we're down on the beach, just looking through the scree piles. Yeah, Dud one there. See what we can find. Get a nodule there, but that's flat. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh. oh, look at that. That's an interesting nodule. Oh, we're going to have to bash that. It's a little bash. <laughs> okay, this will be nailed it. It'll be a good start to the day. It'll probably be empty. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is a hildy. I can see the keel there, so I'm going no further. That is a nice start to the day. Nice five inch hildy there. Lummy marvellous. Yeah, some fresh nodules about. Just pick that one up. It focuses. It's a bit crushed on one side, but that side's pretty good. That one looks like one as well. Yes, it is. Two dacks. Looks like a good nodule. Definitely need to tap that. Yeah. And a bit of a worn one there, that's no good. Yeah. Oh, I'm already sweating, it's quite warm. Fortunately, I brought plenty of water with me. So, all is well. Oh, that's two. Uh, Two ducks for the bag. Keep on looking around here. That's another nice nodule there, look. Yeah, again, definitely worth a, a tap is that one. And another one there. I don't think that could be all there. Possibly. Yeah, nice. This little treasure trove of finds in this little spot. Short on the heels of this one. Is this nodule here? Can't see it as a keel. Oh no, there's a keel. That's a pseudo. That's most definitely a pseudo. Quite a big one, but it's again like all pseudos, a bit rotten on the outer world. So yeah, have a little tap of this one and see if there's a, a bit of middle preserved. I think. So I've just given this a tap, very sharp tap, and heh, it's actually an ildi. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Looks like it's going to be an ildy day today, so it's one of those pyrite ones, but that's not bad. A bit of posneg action going on there. Nice! Well, today it's turning out to be an ildy day. <laughs> well, we didn't quite expect that to be an ildy, but uh, there you go. An ildy it is. <laughs> oh, spot the ammonite time. It's really easy, they won this one, it looks like an ammonite. Ah, it's quite a big one as well, but I don't know if it's all preserved. I suspect that that doesn't have a middle. So I'm going to leave that on the beach for somebody else. Uh, this is a much more difficult spot the dark time. We'll go low. Tell me when you see it. Did you see it? Mm. It 
it is. Quite worn that one, so I will tap it, but there's probably a middle in there, I would imagine. Just picked up this little Elegantisterous nodule. It's quite worn, but that's definitely worth a tap, is that, isn't it? Let's give it a little tap and see if we can expose the middle. Just give it a little, little white tap there, I think. Let's see what happens. It's normally just fall apart. There we go. Uh, quite water worn unfortunately is that one but uh, would have been nice if it uh, a little bit more uh, preserved oh well I just found this cannonball it's not split very well <laughs> but actually <laughs> that's not bad so you've got quite a nice elegant tisserus there one there that's unfortunately broken But I wonder whether that would actually glue back on. In fact, there is another one just in there as well. I'm going to sit on top of it. So I might just take all that back, see what we can do. There's at least one nice one now, so I'm quite happy with that. But yeah. It's the way with these, they don't always split well. But uh, oh well, it'd have been nice if that one had split properly. No nodules. I'll split this one. See a bit of keel poking out there and. Oh, it's another lovely little hildy. Posneg. Just that centre to take out and a bit of mouth border to tidy up. Perfect looking fossil, that. And then this one. This one, unfortunately, I've uh, managed to break. However, it is a fat one. I think it's a Perinoceros subamartum. There is definitely a centre in there. Whether we can salvage that out well or not with some glue, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, definitely a fat one, that one. Yeah, spot, the, spot the dark time. Just getting a bit closer. Oh. Oh, and it's there as well. Nice. Ooh, spot another one there. Yeah, that's in there, I think. A couple of nodules as well. Worth a tap. Oh, and another one there. Oh, that's there. Perfect. Ooh. And a nodule. Well, I managed to hit my finger. Very annoying, but I did pick up this lovely little Perinoceros. You can see the uh, button and loop. Can't tell with these whether they are fibulatum or turriculatum until they are prepped. That's the inner worlds of the giveaway. But yeah, nice. This uh, Tenuica Statamammonite got a bit of the outer world missing there, but that's uh, that's all there. Apart from that bit, up middle will be there. Perfect little hamburger. Whoa, right on the way back now, I had quite a bag full. Uh, not filmed everything because uh, a lot of them are just stacks and little hildies and various stuff, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Found a few nice bits. Uh, definitely a heavy bag, and it's uh, definitely toasty now as well. So Heading back, if we find out on the way back, I'll let you know. There you go, just tap this one. Whick. And there's the deck. Just sat nestled in there, nice. Okay, roundup time. So, yeah, I think the, the star of the show is probably this Hildoceros. Lovely Hildoceros in there. It doesn't look crushed either, which is nice. Nice chunky nodule. Always good to see them in this stuff. Hopefully, that's all fully preserved. That'd be a lovely one, that. Maybe five inch, maybe. We'll see. So, it was quite a hildy day yesterday. I did quite well on the hildies. So, I had this uh, this little one. Again, that looks like it's ready to uh, to pop that. I think there's a... That'd be a big one in there, actually. That's... Uh, there's something there. It's not going to be a double, I don't think, because hilly doubles are quite rare. Whether that's an outer world that's gone wayward, I'm not sure, but <clears throat> yeah, pretty nice. Got this one as well, so that's split quite well. The uh, negative, again, uh, a little bit crushed that one. One of the more pyrite ones, 
I do find this location that can be a little bit like that. I thought it was a pseudo at first, but actually a hildy. But it's certainly all there. Nice posneg. Always nice to see. Again, another quite warm one. These though, you know, the outer worlds can be taken off. Make a, a nice little one. So that's not too bad. Um, this cannonball nodule didn't split very well, but there is one very, very nice one just sat in there. So I think I'll get that cleaned up and just uh, just to have that as uh, as that one. And there's a smaller one there which might uh, might come out nicely as well. I might keep that one. That's the other part of that. Again, another little huldy. That little bit's broken off in my bag. You can see the. Uh, see the keel there there we go see the keel hopefully a little double grooved keel of a hildoceros that's gonna be a nice little one that one again that's another hildy you see the keel poking out there that's uh it's obviously got a little bit missing on the outer world but again we'll have a nice uh, nice middle uh one tenny there's a little chunk missing there on the outer world but it's gonna have a nice middle that that could be taken taken back again. But uh, again, that might be one to uh, chisel open. These usually chisel quite well, especially when they're uh, you know showing all the way around. Usually it's uh, nice and easy. And then oh, I managed to destroy this one, um, which is a Perinosaurus submartum. Unfortunately, it didn't break very well. I've taken the pieces because it might just glue back together. There is, as you can see there, a bit of the inner. So I think that will probably glue. Um, but yeah, Perinoceros submartum, that's one of the um, depressed world variants. Quite a, a deep centre, quite a wide uh, wide world. So yeah, a bit, bit annoying, but it happens. Hopefully we can make some of that. And then the rest of them really just just dax, but lots and lots of variety. T took a little bit off that one, uh, but it goes in, so I kept that piece. Again, you can see the the keels poking out of these ones, so they're all there. And one in there. There's some Perinoceros among here as well. So you can see the Perinoceros with the, uh, the little nodes poking out. Perinoceros. I think that might have been a parent. No, that's a duck, is that one? Biggish duck. Yeah, another duck. That one again, I just took some of the uh, inner whirls off this one, but again, I've kept the, the piece. This We know there's one in there. This can be glued back together. It can be prepped from that side. Another duck there. That's all there. This one is quite interesting. It's very heavy. There is a DAC keel there. Uh, again, I reckon that will be a double. There's no guarantee. But I'd be more surprised if that wasn't a double. I might pull it up on the website for someone to have a, a prep your own. It's going to take a bit of work. It's very heavy, so there's probably a bit of pyrite content in there. But uh, it could look pretty good if it's a double DAC. I'd be more surprised if it wasn't. So. Why else will the nodule be shaped that way? Um, I've had others from this location where there have been doubles. So I don't want to hit it with a hammer because usually that results in a breakage. But uh, yeah, could be nice that. Anyone looking for a double? So yeah, not bad, not bad. Some good stuff. Um, again, just uh, quite a variety of preservations in this lot. Yeah, that's a bit of an odd shape, but you can see there's a, there's a nice little duck just at the edge there. That's the Perinoceros. You can see the, the little nodes. Yeah, not a bad day's collecting for summer. And you'll notice that I've got a sale on at the moment in the online web shop, so 25% off all fossils. Uh, take a look at uh, fossiliferous.onlineweb.shop. Uh, links in the description. Um, I'm away for a week so if there's a delay in posting, apologies. Uh, but I will be out up in Whitby for a week with the family um, doing a little bit more fossil hunting. Um, and yeah, so that's the end of another episode. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you all again soon.